Hi, it's John here. Um, today is Monday, the 7th of November, 2016. I'm just uh, been watching the uh, elections in the United States, and it really would affect us here in New Zealand, who wins. And my only thought is that Trump would win because Hillary is so corrupted and the DOJ, Department of Justice, and the FBI uh, chief. Is, I've watched how they're performing anything to get Hillary Clinton as President of the United States. It, they're going for broke, breaking laws left, right and centre, and they don't care. They don't care as long as they get in, they'll, they'll try and fix it up after she gets in, but it's not going to work. I don't think it's going to work because the people have had enough of corrupted um, methods. And it's making America look bad. It is bad. It's really bad. And um, I think um, with um, um, the whole rest of the world watching what America's doing and Saudi Arabia and the way they've been swapping money around and screwing money off people and for charity and it's not going to charity, it's going on war to get more and more power. It's, this is not, not very good on human rights or anything indigenous. They're just going holus polis breaking laws which is a bad example of how the Queen is part of the problem, the Rothschild banks is a part of the problem, Soros, the federal state of uh, America, which is the Queen herself, using the King's Admiralty uh, law, the martial law, to force their way across other government states in the United States. and for their own private interests. And so we're coming up against that with King William's flag that he's given us to combat that problem with the British military. And I've just sent a letter, um, a message, on Secretary of Defence Ash Carter's Facebook site because I can't find an email for him so it's best to just throw it out in the public with his face right beside it and that's sufficient enough that social media will do the rest. Uh, so tomorrow I will be sending a letter to the same thing to John Key, Prime Minister of New Zealand, and the TPPA. See, I'm healing them all from legislating acts of US federal state here in New Zealand uh, to try and force their TPPA through. It's going through Parliament at the moment. It's on its second reading. And I think by tomorrow or the next day they'll pass its third reading. I'm putting this notice, I've already put a, a notice to the British High Commission here, it's on record now, the uh, letter um, warning John Key, warning uh, US um, Secretary of Defence from using Admiralty law here in front of our flag of Admiralty from the King who made those laws in the first place. So they've got, a, they've got a monarchy problem, a sovereignty problem, a flag problem, and a jurisdiction of admiralty problem, and a sealed problem of admiralty and from Westminster. We have the overruling um, title of admiralty, not vice admiral. They're vice admiral and commander in chief. They're not chief commanders like we are in a private contract direct with the King of Britain, UK and the King of England. Um, <coughs> King William IV and then now King Ernest Augustus, King of Britain, UK, Hanover. That's real. He's the legitimate King of Britain, UK and we're using that as our authority of inheritance and succession of powers of a King of Admiralty. Law straight to King William IV and King William III, and 
this 8 point star New World Order, St. Patrick's Order, Jurisdiction, Westminster. Okay, so that's going to overrule the Queen and Obama and everyone else's Admiralty commercial contract, private contract from the British Lord. And the British government and military, Navy, is our partner, direct, king to native. Uh, Whakamininga, Confederation of Chiefs of the Tribes of Aotearoa, New Zealand, or Aotea, New Zealand. Okay, so that's that's really what I'm, I'm saying here. I've just put the 11, 11 pages to Luis uh, Exley, the Assistant British High Commissioner, in uh, Wellington, New Zealand, and as long as it's lodged there, to be in front of the British, I'll send off the British um, Secretary of Defence, Michael Fallon, in the morning. I'll make him a video as well. This video here is for the Secretary of Defence, Ash Carter. To you, sir, um, making this notice from the Chiefs of the Tribes of Whakamininga, here in Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court and the Native Court Judges, the Chiefs and myself, Sheriff of that Marae, where the ship of Admiralty of King William IV, straight to Britain, straight to Westminster, straight to the High Court of Admiralty in London, straight to that ship on dry land with the Marae as being the highest court in the world of Admiralty, King of the Sea, King of the Royal Revenue and King of Commerce, all wrapped up in a five pound note or pound note levy debtor instrument for any fraudsters or any pirates, because our flag is for pirates, the 1834 Whaka flag is for pirates who violate or break our laws between here and Britain, 1830 to 1837 Acts of Westminster Parliament applies to this eight point star New World Order and the Maui Crown, King William IV, Federal State, Commonwealth Government of the World. A dual government between the natives of Aotearoa New Zealand and the British military, navy, and government. Bell partners. In the legal sense, the King's Bench Court. <coughs> prize possessions and wealth creation. Okay, I'm acting sheriff, surrogate, King William the Fourth, and surrogate to King Ernest Augustus the Fifth, waiting for us to nominate to the throne, to fill the void the Queen has vacated and jumped overboard and abandon the ship of Westminster and gone into EU Parliament. We're going to seize the ship, Queen Elizabeth II, the Navy ship, $15 billion worth, off her, straight into the King Ernest Augustus, King of Britain, UK, and Altair, New Zealand, Pacific Islands, and the Commonwealth countries of the world, 250 countries in the world under our flag. Okay, uh, Ash Carter, I just sent you a small note on Facebook and I see it's waiting for um, an answer uh, from who's putting your website together. It's your face there that I'm posting the 11 pages of the proclamation and the official letter to the British High Commission to warn your ships are forbidden from enforcing or forcing the financial martial law and the Admiralty financial martial law and the Admiralty court martial laws in this country and TPPA. It's forbidden in our waters, on our dry lands, in our country and all other countries attached to our business, in our private interest right through the world, 250 countries, 
with this reign of King William IV. Okay? He might have a big navy presence and military, but we have the overriding flag of Admiralty, the King's flag. The only King's flag in the world that made the Admiralty law. King William IV, New York, and Britain. Okay? So, um, um, I'm sending the same notice to you in the US Federal State Government and Obama administration and your department, you as being the Secretary of Defense, Ash Carter, um, my affidavit of this video that it's a warning to you while your ship is visiting our country it is forbidden to make deals with John Key. He's up for fraud. He's corrupted as much as Hillary Clinton and Obama and he's already got a bounty on his head, a trillion pound bounty on his head and all of your staff will have a bounty of the same amount on your head. That's the Maui pound note, that's not the Rothschild pound note, that's our own pound note with that flag the King gave us. Okay, so that's the consequences of breaking our law. We have the overriding titles here. John Key does not have the titles to make decisions for TPPA and those 12 countries he made a deal with. He didn't even consult with our chiefs in Kingi Taurua uh, and his Whakamininga or Confederation of Tribes Chiefs in Waitangi, Marae King's Bench Court. We've had our meeting in there. That's our own native court on our own dry land. And John Key cannot produce any title, any form of ownership title to these lands that he's only occupied. So when the Navy came from Britain, the first legal legitimate title from the Crown under King William on the 20th of March, 1834, Captain James Reedy Clinton stepped off his ship of Admiralty and proclaimed the land belongs to the King. We proclaimed the land belongs to the Chiefs, not the King or the Queen. And the Navy failed to perform and come to our meeting on the 28th of October 2016. They failed to show on our Marae. <coughs> 182 years we've had this flag of Admiralty, of a King. And they never showed, because they're from Australia, New South Wales government in Wellington, New Zealand. So what's going to happen on Waitangi Day, Ash, that's the 6th of February, New Zealand Day, 2017, we, the Chiefs, decide to terminate the occupation land title that the Navy enjoying, have enjoyed for 182 years on that piece of land that they're sitting on. Terminate, because they're not turning up to talk to us. And so that's the consequence of that, plus the bill, to pay for the use of the land, and that's the end of it. It goes to the British government as a claim against them, each and every person who is in contact with person, the captain of the ship. I'm the captain of our ship as sheriff in the court, the native court, to make decisions as surrogate king William IV and surrogate king Ernest Augustus V, living in London, live and well. Okay, so that's our oath of office. We have Admiralty Seal, King William on his horse, and his ship in the background on his seal, and his crown at the top, and the eight point star. Seven wakas, canoes in the Pacific Ocean is the title, 
and one for King William at the top. So now King Ernest Augustus at the top. It was Queen Victoria, but we're seizing the Queen Victoria Trust that was set up with King William IV, her uncle. Okay? That's the highest order of St. Patrick's. That's our title right here on our flag. The eight-point star you see on our flag in the four corners of the earth is the four corners of the earth of the globe, that eight-point star and those kings. All right? And I know you don't have a king or a queen in America. She's in England, in Brus Brussels. So it's very false for John Key's courts and police to have the Queen in the courts above the judge's head. I won my case, Ash, against the police here on a land title when I got arrested by the police. They lost their case to me because of these seals of a king. Okay, so it's it's very uh, unfortunate if your ship comes in our waters and we're not happy as native. We're not you, we're not happy with bulldozing right over us. Okay? And that's what John Key's doing, ignoring us. Anyone who ignores us, I want you to write back to me on my Facebook or in private on my email. MaoiPowerhouse.com is our website. You can see um, myself there on Facebook and YouTube and Twitter. Pick, pick it up and you'll see my addresses and emails all over the place. I advertise them. But I'm trying to find your email. So I've left my email for you on this Facebook site until I can find an email for you. It's very difficult for anyone in the Navy to find an email. Yet most politicians, like Theresa May, the, the Prime Minister of Britain, she's got an email, so you can email her, not in America. They just don't do that. Wonder why. Anyway, I just want to uh, say to you that I'm watching your elections and I'm waiting for the outcome of that that I can get on with the business with Trump because he's straight up businessman and it's not mixed up in fraud, corrupted politics. The politics needs cleaning up, like he said, drain the swamp of rats that have poisoned the water and poisoned everything. And that's the same in Britain too, Westminster, clean it up. That's our aim is to clean everything up and start again fresh because it's not looking good. <clears throat> okay, so that's my little clip for you for the, tonight as I've sent those off to you and I will hear back from you. This this video is just for you because I'm making the videos for the Prime Minister of New Zealand, John Key, in the morning, the Secretary of Defence, uh, Michael Fallon, in Britain, and to... Uh, Theresa May, Prime Minister of Britain, and um, the um, uh, Chief of Defence, uh, Britain, um, Philip Jones, and also a letter to Obama, uh, the same one, to send a message to him to warn everyone, do not offend our flag of King William, Admiralty, while you're in our waters and on our land, especially on our dry land. John Key might be the Prime Minister, but he's sitting, he's standing on shaky ground at the moment, as far as the law goes, and jurisdiction. We took him to court, he won't win with no title. We have the native titles here. And for the rest of the world, with the indigenous countries where that queen has gone to and raked all the money out of. And we're here as a blueprint for the navies 
of the world, why they're all coming here, to make a new conglomerate of military in the sea around the world. Okay, and the 22 countries are coming here for a meeting of some sort. I, I know, I can tell. They're coming here to force the Admiralty Law through our Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court. They're not going to get in it. They're not going to do it because the Chiefs have had enough corruption from John Key and his Panama Papers and fraudulent dealings with Saudi Arabia and other countries that are being caught out now on the WikiLeaks. Okay, so um, that's all I can say for now. We'll leave it at that and I'll wait for your reply on Facebook or my email. Thank you very much. Um, Ash Carter, I'll leave it there with you. I'll just talk about where to from now. For the rest of the viewers, people watching on my videos, there's over 920 videos on YouTube, some on Daily Motion and other um, video sites, and in particular our website. You'll see a lot of information there and uh, history of the Maui and its crown and King William and his crown. Two crowns, two seals, two memorials, and land titles are all wrapped up with the flag we have of King William. Town note, and that and commerce is our business. Okay, um, I just want to uh, go back to the video. I mean the um, PDF file. So the 11 files, 11 uh, pages, are now on our website. And you can download them there. Um, um, I'll put the site there with you see the stamped seal of Maui in the middle in a round circle. Push on that and you'll go straight to the site, once one page of the website where you'll see the PDF at the bottom. And push on that and the 11 pages will come out. Okay. Uh, and for others um, who are watching, um, what I'm doing here is setting up the uh, Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court with the Chiefs and the Native Court Judges. And I'll be going in there as the Sheriff with a power note and with our lease occupation titles for the Navy to sign or to resever them. Resever the titles and the British have to seize all the titles here back into British possession and bring out the land commissioners. I'm, I'm here as a land, native land commissioner, uh, investigator of titles. And so we'll engage British to come here and run this country. Deal from, straight from Britain, Westminster. The new Westminster government and King Ernest Augustus the fifth. Okay, we're not going to have a bow Prince William or Prince George or Queen or Charlie or any of those bloodlines are corrupted and fraud. Out they go from Westminster. We're going to throw them out. Okay, we've got some people over there saying the same thing in Britain and the people in America saying the same thing too. They want a big clean out of the fraud corrupted Cabell and Rothschilds, Soros, Clinton Foundation. Obama administration, federal state government, Queen, and the IMF and UN, NATO, all those are corrupted to hell. Israel, Saudi Arabia, um, they're all in the same corrupted system. And their elite families. The pedophiles, the kid raping, and child porn and all those drugs and all those things. Stealing the marijuana off the people and poisoning the water and all those things are going to end. They're going to, the flag of kingdom will end the whole lot. With the martial law, the, the, the king's martial law, king's martial law, not queen's vice martial law. It's the king's martial law. Okay, so I'll carry on in the morning. That'll do for now. And, uh, We'll catch you.
you later.